say the Browns draft a developmental quarterback. Obviously, Baker Mayfield's their quarterback. Um, they don't have a really young guy that is a developmental guy. Who's, who are some names just to listen out for uh, later in this draft that you think could develop into pretty decent NFL quarterbacks? Well, to me, after you get past those top five guys, um, you know, all, we expect five quarterbacks to go top ten. I think after those top five, the quarterback that stands out to, the most to me as being uh, a, a, a developmental quarterback, you could foresee him starting games uh, down the road, is Davis Mills out of Stanford, uh, former five-star recruit. He, he looks the part 6'4", 220, um, only 11 starts. And so that's the, the sample size is not what you want. Um, the left knee needs a check out. That's part of the reason why he only started 11 games, but he's a loose passer. Uh, he might be the best middle of the field passer in this draft. A really big fan of the way he can use his eyes, uh, reset and, and make plays uh, down the field. So Davis Mills could be one of those guys. Uh, you know, Kyle Trask to me is more of a backup. He's that Mason uh, Rudolph style passer. Uh, Kellen Mond is really inconsistent. Uh, one, you watch the Florida tape and you say, okay, it, this, this guy could be something. And then you watch the LSU tape and you're, eh, okay, uh, maybe not. And you just it, you just don't know what you're getting snap to snap with Kellen Mond uh, out of Texas A&M. But if, uh, you know, he falls in the right situation, he gets coached up, maybe he's a guy that can turn the corner. So, uh, you know, I think a team somewhere, uh, maybe even this second round, uh, you know, might take a chance on Kellen Mond. If we're talking late rounds, you know, Ian Book out of Notre Dame could be that guy, really athletic, um, smart, high intangibles. If you're going to throw a dart at a quarterback in the sixth, seventh round, Ian Book would make sense. 